Wordscapes hits that perfect balance of not so easy to be boring and not so hard to be frustrating. What you end up with is a massively addicting puzzle game for both self-proclaimed word nerds and everyday users who just want to kill some time. This game is the latest from the makers of Word Chums, Spell Blitz, and Mix2. Simply put, it's a blend of a crossword puzzle and a word search. It's a super easy game to jump into, it's pretty rewarding right out the gate, and there's just enough repetition that you can easily play and multitask. It's a great game for playing alongside Netflix binges, airport layovers, and late night insomnia. In terms of difficulty, Wordscapes is pretty easy to figure out. It doesn't require a ton of detailed instructions or watching gurus on YouTube. The puzzles get progressively harder, and new game elements are introduced as you play, which adds to the complexity. One feature we really like, when you inevitably get stuck on a word, you can use coins for hints, so you're not left scratching your head. The free play quality of this game is amazing. It's 100% free to play, with optional in-game purchases, but those purchases, they're really just there for added convenience. Think coins for extra hints that help if you get stuck, or the ability to bypass ads to keep playing. There are never things that you have to purchase to keep progressing in the game, and that's something we really like. The game offers a pretty decent brain workout. There's the obvious vocabulary component that helps you retain a larger vernacular. And while Wordscapes is not claiming to significantly increase IQ levels, it does keep your mind in tune and helps you develop logical thinking and cognitive skills. The addicting qualities of the game help you max out on these benefits. So what's the know-how verdict? In a sea of word games, Wordscapes is uniquely rewarding, fun for all types of players, and totally worth the time suck. Click the link in the video or check out our blog to play the game on your mobile device.